Hey guys, welcome back to another What I Eat in a Week episode. Um, for this week, I actually did not make many meals. This is a short work week for me, so I didn't make as many meals as I typically do, but I still did enough for the next couple of days, um, and I just wanted to show you guys what I've been bringing. So I have my typical list um, I have here over the side of what I plan on making and then the ingredients I used to make them. So let me show you what I'm gonna be bringing. So for breakfast, I didn't really officially meal prep anything, although you can make these in advance. Um, I got some croissants that you can just eat plain, but I was planning on making some breakfast sandwiches. And again, if you prefer, you can get them done um, ahead of time and then just heat it up in the toaster or the microwave. But I like to actually toast my croissants first, and then I will lay on um, a fried egg, some turkey sausage or turkey bacon, um, some avocado, an avocado sliced and then um, a slice of cheese as well and that will be nice and toasted up in the morning it doesn't take very long maybe 10 minutes to do so I prefer to actually wake up a little early and get that done fresh and so once I bite into that croissant it's nice and flaky but again you can make it in advance wrap it up and then just heat it um, before you before you go to work for lunch, I have here, this is um, mini sweet peppers that I stuff with some ground turkey, some onion and garlic, and some cheese. And I baked that in the oven, and this is over a bed of zucchini noodles that I had topped off with some tomato sauce. This here is um, creamy chicken noodles. These are egg noodles that I had made um, and I added some broccoli to that and um, some creamy soup. And then the last big meal is this salmon. This is a honey garlic or actually orange, orange honey soy salmon. That's hard to say. Um, but anyway, there's honey in it, there's garlic, there's soy sauce, and there's freshly squeezed orange juice in there as well. I have um, some fillets, a fillet here, and then the vegetables are over some red quinoa. This is what the quinoa looks like. But um, on top of the quinoa, I have some roasted asparagus, and I have some of the same mini sweet peppers that I had left over from the stuffed peppers. And then another option is these mini non-dippers. So I'm not sure if you guys ever had these, but they're super cute, perfect size. They're this little. But if you wanna take two of them, throw it in a little snack box, and I am planning on eating that, along with some salami, prosciutto, soppressetta uh, combination here. And then I am going to add in some string cheese. And they didn't have any berries that were really in great shape this week, so I just got a whole bunch of bananas. So I'm gonna go with a banana on that one. And then also adding in some carrots and some celery. And then maybe some hummus with that as well. But I have here my regular containers of carrots and celery that I have in water and they're ready to go in the fridge as well. So that's another meal. And then as far as my infused waters go for this week, I bought some citrus. So I'm gonna try doing citrus. Um, I have here, this one is orange, lime, and lemon. And then this one is orange and blueberry. So this week I did not put the water in yet. The rinds tend to get a bit bitter if they are um, infused for too long. So I would either add the water the night before or the morning of, and then just add some extra ice with that just to keep the flavor sweet and not too bitter. But those are the two that I'm trying out for this week. Um, but that is about it. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe and uh, let me know if there's anything else that you wanna see. And um, I will have some recipes and the grocery list um, in the link below. But thanks for watching, have a monsterific day, bye.